Hey, I'm Tom Burry, Pro Contractor, here to show you how you can easily make over your entire kitchen by simply painting the cabinets. Here's what you'll need to prep your cabinets. First, some frog tape multi-surface painter's tape, some degreasing cleaner, wood filler, rough grit sandpaper between 40 and 50 grit, fine grit sandpaper between 120 and 220 grit, drop cloths, you might need a few of those, and a roll of brown paper. Fill in any holes or gaps that you don't want to be seen. Remove all the cabinet doors, hardware, pull knobs, and any drawers or shelves that can come out. Be sure to number every piece with painter's tape so you know exactly how to put them back together. Get rid of any oil residue with the degreasing cleaner. Cover all your appliances, countertops, backsplash, and walls. Start with a rough grit sandpaper on every surface that's going to get painted. Most people skip the interior boxes of the cabinets and just focus on the surfaces you see the most. Next, switch to a fine grit sandpaper to smooth it all out. To finish, vacuum the area and wipe everything down with a damp cloth. This gets rid of any dust so your paint will stick. Use frog tape painter's tape on any surface adjacent to where you'll be painting to prevent paint bleed and don't forget to burnish those edges. Now it's time to prime and paint. Here's what you'll need. Frog tape multi-surface painter's tape, oil-based primer or 100% acrylic primer for the cabinetry, 100% enamel paint, two and a half inch paint brushes, four inch smooth foam rollers, paint trays, paint gloves, and plastic kitchen wrap. Start by priming the face of the cabinet boxes first. Here's a pro tip. Get a glassy finish by sanding with a fine grit sandpaper in between coats. Then paint the backs of the doors and drawers. The best way to dry the doors and drawers is to lay them face up and flat on a covered table or on a drop cloth on the floor. Just make sure the room is dust free. Once dry, flip the doors over and paint the front side. Once your primer is completely dry, pick a 100% enamel paint formula. I like a satin finish since it's easy to keep clean. Use your paintbrush to cut in the corners and edges as well as any recessed areas. Then use your smooth foam roller to roll out everything else. Paint the face of the cabinet boxes with two coats, drying fully between each. Paint your cabinet door backs. Give those two coats as well allowing time to dry between each. For best results, don't forget to remove the painter's tape while the paint is still wet, and then reapply the painter's tape between coats. Here's another pro tip. At this point, I like to let the cabinet boxes and the door backs dry overnight. This ensures I can flip them over the next day and I won't mess them up. Now, don't forget, wrap your paint brushes and paint trays in plastic so you can keep them fresh for tomorrow too. Now it's time to paint the fronts. Flip over and paint the fronts with two coats, making sure they're totally dry between each. Wait another night before you move on to the next step. Pro tip, give the paint a few days to dry if possible. Just because it's dry to the touch doesn't mean it's fully cured. This means the paint isn't at its strongest yet and it would be a shame to scratch anything during assembly. Also, be sure to replace the rubber bumpers on the doors. This keeps them from slamming and marring the paint over time. When you're 100% sure the paint is dry, it's time to put your kitchen back together. And there you have it. Now you're ready to enjoy your updated kitchen.